Abelkuta, an ancient city blessed with rocky landscapes in the southwestern part of Nigeria. It is the capital city of Ogun State and it is situated east of the Ogun River near a group of rocky outcrops in a wooded savanna. Abiokuta is a place with historical significance and it means to be under the rock in the native Yoruba language, a name it derived from the role Olumo rock played in keeping the Egba people safe during the slave-taking expeditions of the Yoruba civil war in the 1800s. I have heard so many stories of this great city since I was just a boy and I finally got the opportunity to visit with a group of people on a one-day tour. Keep watching as I bring you Abiyokuta in this video and I can guarantee that you will fall in love with this city just like I did. Every journey begins from somewhere and this one wasn't any different. I woke up in Lagos on a Saturday morning and found my way to the Mobology Johnson train station. This train station is managed by the Nigerian Railway Corporation and it is considered one of the largest train stations in Africa with a capacity to hold 6,000 passengers. Today I am here at the Mobology Johnson train station in Ebutemeta Yaba. It is from here I am going to be joining a few people that I just met to embark on this interesting journey to Abiyokuta. I'll be visiting the Oluma Rock and Obasanjo Library, the Adire Market, and a whole lot of interesting places. This was my first time using the train service in Nigeria, and I was so happy to see it keeping to time and in excellent condition. We are heading to Abiyokuta, and we are using the train, guys. <laughs> the journey from Lagos to Abiyokuta lasted for nearly 90 minutes and it was such a comfortable ride. On arrival in Abiyokuta, I alighted at the Professor Wale Shoenka station while the train continued its journey to Ibadan the final destination for the remaining passengers. We just alighted from the train and I am going to explore the beautiful city of Abiyokuta. Welcome to Abiyokuta! Let's go! The people I was on tour with had gathered together outside the station. It was the first time I was meeting every single one of them, but I wasted no time in blending with the group and it came with an amazing feeling I can't easily describe. This tour was put together by Tife of the Unicorn Events, who did an amazing job of ensuring 16 people were well taken care of in Abiyokuta. First time in Abiyokuta, like I mentioned, some of these guys, I don't know them, but um, they are going to show me around the town. So follow me as I get into a bus. Yeah, can we all, can we all fit? Which bus? Oh, okay, sorry. It's called a Lamborghini, yeah, right? Let's go. Okay. Okay. Uh, wow. While the intent of this video is to show Abiyokuta in the positive light that it truly deserves, it would be dishonest if I don't mention that the roads leading to the city from the train station are in terrible state. Hopefully, the government does something about the roads as soon as possible. This is like the best bus I've ever been in. Well, <laughs> so I learned this bus is called a Lamborghini. Um, the air conditioning system is a natural air conditioning system. Yeah. <laughs> and let me just use this opportunity to mention that it's the unicorn event that is packaging all of this. And they were the ones that took me around the Badon and I decided I was going to follow them to Abiyokuta. So they have a lot of wonderful people. I'll probably get to talk to them 
one after the other as we approach the city. So, in the meantime, guys, visit Abiy Okuta. That's what I can say. And keep watching. And please subscribe to the channel. Yes, subscribe. Yes, yes, subscribe. It is very easy to tell that Abiy Okuta is an ancient town when one arrives in the city. The houses tell tales of a city far older than the people who currently reside in it. My very first point of call was the President Olusegun Obasanjo's public library, abbreviated as OOPL. This place is a historic tourist and academic center established as a national archive for the preservation of documents and materials used by President Obasanjo during his tenure as the President of Nigeria from 1999 until 2007. The Presidential Library sits on a landmass of approximately 32 hectares, with an archive that houses 15 million documents, 2 million books and 4,000 artifacts. Apart from the main library, the OOPL complex also includes an open-air amphitheater, a 1,000-seater auditorium, a 153-room hotel, several restaurants and bars, a small amusement park, a wildlife park and an observation point. I spent some time at the OOPL Wildlife Park, interacting with the various animals that now call the zoo their home. I stopped briefly at the OOPL Amusement Park to see the rides they had available. It's definitely one that is family friendly and I recommend it. Due to my quest to climb to the top of Olumorok, I had to temporarily break up from the group and do a few things on my own. I ordered a taxi from OOPL to Olumorok and fate brought me an interesting fellow. So I'm in a taxi, I met a driver who is going to take me to Olumorok and I asked him if he's willing to tell me about his city and he said why not. So. Um, let him introduce himself and tell us more about himself. Yeah. Hello, sir, hello, everybody. Uh, hello, hello, hello. Uh, Hi. What's your name? Yeah, my name is uh, Mr. Patrice. Nice to meet you, Mr. Yeah, my name is Suleiman and Nero. Uh, nice, yeah, nice to meet you too. So it's my first time in Abiy wow. and and um, wow. I've been wanting to visit. Right. Well, I finally got the opportunity to visit today. So um, what can you say about Abiy Okuta the city for people who have never been here? Yeah, good. Abiy Okuta is a place to be. As you all know, that uh, Abeokuta is, is the capital of the state, and uh, Abeokuta is actually a place to be. Abeokuta, Abeokuta is is not Abeokuta is expensive. I won't lie to you. Mm. I won't lie to you. Abeokuta is highly costly to me. Mm. In, in some places in Abeokuta, yeah, we still have so if you, if you want to have a very good three bedroom flat mm. with a very good uh, with, with, with so many. And good amenities, uh, portable water, good electricity, uh, and, and a very good way to move you. You still have like 700,000. Basically, in a year. In a year? In a year, yeah. 700,000 to 800,000, yeah. In a, a new house that is very nice. Yes, yeah, in a year. 800,000, you know, 900,000. And, and above. In a year, can you just imagine? In a year, okay. You know, so, uh, I was thinking you were going to say something in the millions. Because if you go to a place like Lagos, okay. something like that, you are talking about two, three, four million naira. Yeah. You, 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 you are you are you are you are you are right. You don't understand. Yes. Yeah. If 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 you look at eight hundred thousand, seven hundred thousand houses, uh, three bedroom flat in Abuja, it doesn't worth it. Compare the most of that particular area. Mm. But Ella, for you to pay like three million, four million naira, three bedroom flat in. Uh, in 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 Lagos, yes. Sorry, in Holland. I think you see, you see, you see all the facilities that you want. Do you understand? Yeah. You enjoy all the facilities. Do you understand? So that's just the 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 vision. Yeah. Do you understand? So, okay. Okay. I can understand. You can be uh, You can go out at the own convenient time. You come in at the own convenient time. Secured. Perfect. Okay. All right. So guys, uh, Mustafa is taking me to Luma Rock. And I can't wait to see the famous 
Tomorrow. Yeah. So, um, thank you very much, Mustafa. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm happy you were able to talk to us from your heart freely. Um, so, everybody, please just leave a comment for Mustafa. Help me tell him thank you for telling us about Abiy Okuta in city. And um, whenever you come to Abiy Okuta, please look for Mustafa and say you watch this video and it's one of the reasons that you are visiting Abiy Okuta. So, um, Mustafa, say thanks to everybody. And, yeah, uh, thank you so much. Yeah, that's fine for that. Okay. I had an interesting conversation with Mustafa and I learned so much from him about his city. Truly, if you want to get undiluted gist in any city of the world, the drivers are your best bet. So guys, I've arrived at Oluma Rocks in Abiyokuta. This is one of the places I really, really wanted to visit. So Oluma Rock is, um, I think, approximately 177 meters high. And um, I'm going to just see if I can climb around because it's raining and it may not be very safe to climb. But we'll see if I can climb. If not, I'll just take a few videos and show you what Oluma Rock looks like. So let's go and see Oluma Rock, guys. I arrived at Oluma Rock and it was a sight to behold. I paid the entrance fee without hesitation. All I could think about was how to explore the gentle giant that was sleeping peacefully in front of me. I found myself an experienced tour guide who took me around. He told me fascinating stories about the rock and how interwoven it had become with the lives of the Egba people. Busy right now, we are climbing around 20 steps to this point here. From here, we are going to the shrine, and that's where they used to make sacrifice to the rock annually, every 5th of August. From there, we are moving to the hideout, and that's where the people of this town keep their refuge when there's a war between them and their neighbor countries. We call their names Ida Home. Ida Home is now Benin Republic, and this is where they name this name out. Abe Okuta means under the rock. I got to see the various shrines enter the Egba wartime hideout and climbed to the very summit of the Oluma Rock. I was fulfilled and bursting with excitement. I'm at the very top of the Oluma Rock here in Abiyakuta, Nigeria and I can tell you for a fact this is amazing. Visit Abiyakuta, visit Oluma Rock and subscribe to that channel. Hit that subscribe button because we bring you premium content in this channel. The things I discovered about Oluma Rock on this visit are too grand to fit into this video and as a result, I have made a separate video dedicated entirely to Oluma Rock which you should totally watch after watching this video. I completed my expedition of the Oluma Rock and went straight to the Kuti Heritage Museum. This is a museum that tells a story of Fela Anikulak Bakuti and his family. Fela, arguably the biggest musician Africa has ever produced, is definitely not the only one of significance from his family. His mother, Fumilayo Ransom Kuti, was a woman of many firsts in Nigeria. Mrs. Ransom Kuti was very influential in her days, subsequently drawing the eye of the government after leading several protests till she was eventually thrown out of a story building by some military officials in 1977 during a raid on Fela's house, leading to her death in 1978. Her story is one from which many have drawn inspiration and it was such an honor to tour a home in which she once lived. So guys, I just finished a tour of the Kuti Heritage Museum and it's a very, very, very historical place. A lot of stories of the life of Fela Nikola Kuti and his family. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And the manager gave me a fantastic tour of this place. I recommend a visit whenever you find yourself in Abiyoguta. Just give them a call and they will be more than happy to give you a fantastic tour. It had been a long day of exploration and learning. I needed to replenish, for I am only human. 
I asked Mustafa to take me to the best local food joint in town and he brought me to this spot. They say when one is in Rome, they must act like the Romans. So it was only appropriate for me to be in a Yoruba land and behave like a Yoruba man. We ordered for Amala and it was really, really, really nice. This is me and Mustafa. We are having lunch at... Um, what's this place? Surulere Food Canteen. Okay. So um, he's having Amala and, and a buffet. I'm having Amala as well with assorted. So I'm, I'm excited. At least we came here and we are eating the local food. I totally recommend a visit to this restaurant whenever you find yourself in Abiyokuta. We needed to catch the 5 p.m. train back to Lagos and that meant we had to begin our bad road experience to the train station immediately. The road felt much worse on our return journey and I probably noticed it more in the evening compared to the morning because I was either already too tired from exploring Abiyokuta or too sad I was going back to Lagos. Whatever the reason, I would like to passionately appeal again to the relevant authorities to carry out lasting repairs on that route for maximum value derivation of the Professor Wale Shoenka train station in Ambiokuta. It is never easy to part ways, but if we must do so, it should always be with sweet sorrow such that we are motivated to be back together again. Yes. <laughs> so with the unicorn. Yeah. Okay guys, Abiyakuta has been awesome. It's time to say goodbye. It's always difficult to say goodbye, but we have no choice. So, I hope you've had a wonderful time watching this. Please hit that subscribe button, like this video, and Abiyakuta to the world. See you. ABK I have no doubt in my mind that I departed Abiyokuta with sweet sorrow and I can't wait to be back to this beautiful city. Everything comes to an end and this is where we come to the end of this story that tried its best to show you Abiyokuta in one day. Keep doing the things that you do. Explore the world. It's your oyster. Cheerio! Thank you for embarking on this journey with me. Until I come your way again with another compelling story. It is peace and lots of love all the way from me to you. See you later and bye for now.